I've been a part of, just with the stakes so, so high. Uh, Valpo coming in here uh, with trying to get a championship. Uh, we know what was on the line. We knew it. We presented it to our players. Uh, senior day was a special day. These two guys, you guys would have really been proud. <coughs> they, they stepped up in front of the team yesterday and, and had a great message for them. And uh, they play with heart, desire, and emotion, and poise and composure, and finished it out. And uh, just, you know, just a, just a great, great team win. Juwan, can you just touch on the last possession? what you're looking for in that last 11 seconds? Man, I was just, you know, trying to take what the defense gave me. If he was going to give me the shot or give me a drive. But I know if I would have drove, you know, defense would have collapsed because, you know, me for me hitting previous game winners. But, you know, I just, you know, applaud our coaches for continuing having confidence in me in the clutch and putting the ball in my hands and hoping something good happened and, and it happened tonight. What is it about playing Valpo and getting these late game? Uh, this wasn't really a buzzer beater, but it kind of was. But, um, you know, we we have history, you know, against Valpo with this rivalry. You know, ever since I've been here, you know, with Bro Calls and now Alec Peters, and we just always had that, you know, that uh, rivalry. So it was good, you know, you know, you know, beat your rivals. So that was, that was one good thing for us and uh, a good team win going into this Horizon League season. Now, Brandon, how about having your daughter here tonight to watch you? Not that she'll remember anything, obviously, but still to be here and you had one of your best games. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it, it was definitely special. You no, know, this is only the uh, second game she's been to. She's been uh, kind of sick, so we haven't really brought her out. But it was uh, definitely a special night as far as her being here, you know, and, um, and then me, you know, playing with her. She probably, you know, rub a little good, good luck off of me. I think so, yeah. yeah. That's good to see. Brandon, would you say this is your, your best game as a Titan so far? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, because um, I have, some, you know, some good games in the past, but we didn't necessarily get a win. But, um, yeah, I think so. Uh, I probably I exclude that. Probably the Oakland game. Okay. Um, I didn't score a lot of Oakland lane, but um, as we can see on film, you know, I made a lot of plays off the ball defensively. And just my energy was real good. So I would say between um, this game and Oakland at home. Well, I, I tell you just one, one of the things with, with Brandon. I mean, you look at his line, 14 points. I don't think he had a turnover. Uh, I mean, that's big for us. He, he was steady. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was, he was poised. He was composed. He's got us in things made good decisions, he took what was there, and he played like a, like a veteran, experienced guy. Things didn't go Juwan's way, you know, offensively with the tension, but he hung in there, he stayed in there, and that's what these two guys have to do for us, you know, going forward. We said it, it's going to be some, some adversity that's going to, going to occur in this game. And um, I, I just really pleased with our, with our poise, but I just thought, I thought that Brandon was, was, a, was a stabilizer. A force on both sides of the ball. And then Juwan, after not having the best first half, to kneel down those three free throws to win the game, how much did that mean to you, being able to do that? Anytime the Titan win, man, that means a lot to me. So, uh -huh. you know, us winning was the, was the best thing. And, uh, you know, the opportunity was there, and I just had to seize the opportunity. Because, you know, you don't get these too many too often, you know, with us going down the stretch. So that's all I wanted to do. Coach, you talked about how big the stakes were. The stakes for your team were a year of the five seed coming in, five seed coming out. But and do, do you cherish the fact of being able to disrupt the flow in the Horizon League a little bit? Well, well, absolutely. We we've uh, lost a lot of close games. We've been in position to to make a play, get a stop, and, and win. And uh, you know we didn't get it done. And that's what we're trying to do down the stretch. We talk about playing our best basketball. We know that we can play with anyone. And in, in our pursuit is to play for 40 minutes. And, and that's what you've seen us do uh, against uh, two teams that are, uh, you know, one and two. I mean, it was in Cleveland, you know, a week ago, how, you know, same, same type of game. And, uh, and that's what happens down the stretch of February. I feel like we're learning uh, and, and, and playing tougher on possessions. They had a chance to win the game. We got to stop and we got to rebound. And uh, that's, that shows growth and, and want. And, you know, it, it, was a happy, it was really a happy locker room. And I'm just really happy for, for these two guys. Uh, and uh, but for us, it's uh, it's win or you know our season's over now. I mean that's that's what's in front of us. Not having a winning record uh, postseason, we we we've got to win games to uh, to get the postseason. That's what we want to do to send these guys out. You guys will be the only team that's playing on Tuesday to have wins over any of these teams that have got buys. How much does that help the confidence level should you guys get past Tuesday, knowing that you beat Valpo, you beat Cleveland State, you beat Oakland already this year? 
Well, I mean, it's, you know, these guys are talking. We can beat everyone. I mean, we sit in that film room and we break down every game. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. And, uh, you know, so we're, we're going to carry those over. And, uh, but it starts with us Tuesday. None of that can happen if we, uh, we don't defend our home court on Tuesday and, and get there to be a part of it. Uh, Coach, how about Jaleel late? Really coming into form, had 10-9 tonight. Talk about his play of late. Well, what he does, he gives us a balance. These guys can operate on the perimeter, but he gives us a presence that commands attention. They started to double him. He, you know, he kept his poise and composure. I mean, he attacked the best, probably maybe the defensive player of the year in Fernandez. I mean, and, uh, and was able to score over him and through him. So these guys have confidence. You see, uh, you know, the, the feeds that they, uh, that they gave him. I mean, uh, you know, Juwan threw one away trying to trying to give it to him, right? So that, that tells you a senior trying to give it to a freshman. So uh, we just really were connected tonight and uh, really, really proud of the guys. Juwan, would you say that you guys are trusting in uh, Jaleel two more right now? Well, I always had trust in Jaleel. Just simple fact because, you know, even in the offseason, we knew Jaleel was, you know, a good presence. He's real athletic, strong freshman. And he always, you know, put the work in and came with the right mindset and attitude every day. So that's one big thing I, I like in Jaleel. Would you say the same to you, Brandon, about Jaleel? Yeah, yeah. Um, early on, you know, he was still adjusting to the college game. And I think it's, you know, it's slowed down for him, you know, in the post. And, he's, you know, he's taking his time, you know. And he's um, he's been working, too, working on his touch and run and run. Mm -hmm. You know, he's been working. You can tell. Final question for all three of you guys. There's a chance that Oakland can host the tournament. How big would it be for you guys not to have to go to uh, Northwestern Ohio or Indiana? Well, I, I think the thing, it doesn't matter who we play. Uh, we've played pretty well on the road. I mean, uh, so we're looking forward to getting to you know, a neutral court and, and trying to stay in, in that situation until we get, get to the host if we're fortunate enough to play well. But uh, these guys do not, do not fear the road at all. Actually, I think at times we played better on the road. Uh, so uh, they get inspired by you know, good crowds and hostile environments. And uh, so if that's the case, you know, wherever we go, we'll, we look forward to it. Would you say, Coach, that there's more parity this year than in recent memory in the conference? I think so. Uh, you know, I thought this team was really a balanced team with Fernandez with his ability to, you know, clog up the middle. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not an overly big league. Um, I mean, you know, you look at last <coughs> year, though, Milwaukee had the, what, fifth seed, right? And then they won the championship yeah. away from home. I mean, I think that's the rising league now since, uh, you know, since Butler has left, uh, yeah. you know, so. Dare I put you on the spot and ask your thoughts on Valpo and Cleveland that Friday night? Don't do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Good. Good. Very good. Okay. All right. Thank thanks. you, guys. Thank you.